Hi, this is Bob Missick. I'm the manager of Rivard County Manatees, and this is the Coach's Corner. The thing about signs and giving signs is that for any ball club, we, we have to get the signs. So we're not trying to trick ourselves, but we want to keep them simple and something that's easily recognized by us, but not so easily recognized by the other teams so they don't pick them up. So, most people have an indicator that they, it's sort of like an alert uh, for our players. Somewhere they touch, it can be on the body, it can be a part, part of the uniform. Uh, for example, and this is not our sign, so you can't give it to the other teams, but I'll just make one up. An indicator be, can be when the coach touches the bill of his cap, and as soon as he does, that tells the hitter and the base runner, be a heads up, be alert, the next thing that happens is going to be what our play is. And then somewhere on the body, we have a series of touches uh, that tells us when we're going to sacrifice bunt, maybe hit and run, steal, delay steal, suicide squeeze, whatever the play may be. So if I was going to go through a sign and I wanted to put a sack bunt on and our bill of the cap was the indicator, no matter what I was touching first, as soon as I touch the bill of that cap, they know the next thing I touch is going to be what's on. I mean, this was the sacrifice bunt, if this was where the area was, they know now it's a sacrifice bunt. And the rest of the signs are nothing but dummy signs. So I can go through a whole bunch of touches and I never touch the bill of my cap, there's nothing on. But as soon as I touch the bill of my cap, the next area I touch determines what play is going to be on. And most teams have some sort of indicator or alert that they do. If for some reason it doesn't go well and somebody looks like they didn't get the sign, then we just wipe it off and that's a clean slate, sort of like an eraser board. We'll clean the eraser board and start over again. Hi, I'm Bob Missick and that was The Coach's Corner. Brevard Community Kitchen prepares about 2,000 meals per day that are delivered to homebound seniors throughout Meals on Wheels. More active seniors meet at one of 15 senior at lunch neighborhood dining sites located throughout Brevard County. Due to the economic downturn, the needs for Meals on Wheels and volunteers has increased. We are always in need of volunteer drivers to help meet the demands for home delivered meals. Our goal is to ultimately help seniors remain in their homes and remain independent. We ask volunteers to donate two hours one day per week, Monday through Friday, from 11 a.m. until 1 p.m. For more information, please visit our website at www.mealsonwheelsofbrevard.org. It's time for our manatees crib segment. Let's take a look at one of the manatees intern apartments. How you doing? My name is Jesse. I'm a manatees intern. And before we show you uh, the, our apartment, let's go ahead and take a look at the pool. Come on, follow me. Alright, so the, here we have the pool area. Usually on a Saturday or Sunday, this place will be packed. The hot tub. This is where it all goes down. All right, here's our hot tub right here. This is uh, our preferred spot after we get off work. Here we have the uh, indoor basketball court and our weight room. This is where we like to have fun after work. Here's our weight room. It's not, a, it's not huge, but it still gets the job done. The best part about living here is I never have to pay for any movie tickets anymore. You're a little early. Welcome to the intern apartment of Var County Manatees. Let's take it through the door. As you can 
see, we got a kitchen. This is Steph and Jess. How you doing? There you go. You want to see something cool right here? Take a look at this. All right, so we got the, the Manatees intern living room, and nothing is, a living room isn't complete without the TV. We got a couple of the interns just chilling, eating some lunch, enjoying a uh, nice lunch break, break from the office. So first we'll take it into my room. You can see it's uh, very small, not that organized, but I got the necessities, the TV, the bed, and one of the great things about the room is that I have the laundry stuff in there, so get to listen to my what, what, what I'd like to fall asleep to at night. And now, after seeing my room, we're gonna take it to Steph's. Hey, girl, open that door. <laughs> Welcome. My room and Alex's. <laughs> well, right now, this is my favorite part of the room. <laughs> my bed. And it's taking up 95% of the room right now because we had a little red ant problem, so I had to rearrange my furniture um, away from the window. But it used to be in the corner. I didn't need to take up this much of the room. So, my favorite part of the room are my pictures, which I have strategically placed into my initials and I love them because I get to look at my friends and family all the time. And then Alex and I have our own bathroom, which is far cleaner than their bathroom because I will never let it get dirty. So this is the bathroom. And another great part of this apartment is the closet. I don't have a walk-in closet at home, so I love having one here, and Alex has just as many clothes as I have, so I'd never feel bad about myself sharing a closet with him. So, I love all of this. And my little 70s night get up. So that's my room, and Alex's. And Alex, he's not here right now to show you, but I'm sure the pride of his room is his University of Iowa blanket. So that's mine and Alex's room. Now Jesse is gonna show you his room. Take it away, Jesse. All right, now on to the man's side of the room. Before we get to my room, let's check out the man's bathroom. Hey, hey, close the door, someone's in the toilet. Come on. Uh, that's enough of that. Come on in here. Now this is me and Cameron's room. This is my side. This is Cameron's side. I don't have any uh, any say for this side, but that's kind of what happens. We just deal with it. And uh, that's pretty much it. We got a closet that we share. Pretty messy. You can tell this is a guy's room, but that's what happens when you have a roommate like this. All right, let's go check out Dan's room, see what's going on in there. Dan, come on in. Come on in, here's my room. Uh, I used to share a room with Alexi, but he got into the other room, so now I have my own. I got my, be my bed, I got my TV, I got my closet, my golf clubs, and that's pretty much it. Pretty simple, but that's you know, my own room, so that's good. When we come back, we'll get to know infielder Josh Prince. Don't go away.